on Happy Landing. One of the stations on Thomas's branch line is near an airfield. Sometimes, flying displays are held there during the summer. And Thomas, Annie and Clarabelle, as well as special trains run by Toby and Percy, are full of visitors coming to spectate. When the flying is finished, the visitors get into the trains again so Thomas and his friends can take them home. Thomas thought it was silly. Imagine giving yourself a stiff neck watching all that, he said scornfully. I've got better things to do. But Percy liked the aeroplanes. I think it's fun. It must be nice to fly wherever you want. Pah! scoffed Thomas. Who needs to buzz around like that? I'd rather have my safe rails, thank you. One day, Percy came to Farco with startling news. Some men had arrived at the airfield and were being taken up in an aeroplane so that they could jump out of it. Why would they want to do that? asked Thomas, incredulous at the thought. They've got these sort of umbrella things, Percy explained. They open and carry the men down safely. They're called parachutes, said Thomas's driver. They're the men from the army. They've come on a special training exercise. Thomas rolled his eyes. What stupid nonsense, he grunted, and slunk off for a rest in the shed. The parachute exercise went on all the next day, too. That evening, when Thomas stopped at the station by the river for a drink, the station master came hurrying along the platform to speak to the guard. Hold the train for a few minutes, please. One of those parachute chaps has landed in the river, and they think that the best way to get him back to the airfield is by a train. <laughs> muttered Thomas grumpily. Serves him right. I've got a good mind not to wait for him. No, Thomas, his driver warned. Remember where you would have been if Terence hadn't helped you out of the snow. Thomas did remember. I'm sorry, he said. We'll wait and get him back to the airfield safely. That's a good engine, smiled the driver. A few minutes later, the soldier squelched along the platform looking wet and miserable. The guard helped him into Clarabelle, blew his whistle, and Thomas set off again. Hurry, 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 he puffed, anxious to make up for his bad temper. It wasn't far to the airfield, and Thomas reached the station quicker than ever before. The soldier was helped off the train, and his officer came to thank Thomas. I'm glad I could help, Thomas told Percy in the shed that night. But I still think jumping out of aeroplanes is silly.